Mobile. Uh, we are, uh, right now this is under the brand <coughs> Tecton Games, but uh, this is a Unity game that we're working on. It's based on a short story I wrote many years ago. It's a uh, story-driven uh, adventure game, kind of psychological thriller, I guess you could say. Uh, the original vision for it was to be sort of an interactive graphic novel, but we kind of kept taking steps beyond that, increasing the interactivity, and, uh, and I think you'll see here uh, it's moved well beyond what you would consider a graphic novel, but it still sticks to kind of this hand-drawn uh, style. We tried some 3D, just strictly 3D with hand-drawn textures that didn't really work as well. Uh, here is, this is all we have to show right now, it's just a, kind of a prototype for our opening sequence, but this is it right here. This is in Unity. And of course there's no sound. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds a big thing. Actually. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's muted. It is. Yes. Yeah, so oh, it's muted. I saw the little. This is me. No, the no smoking sign. Oh no no I yeah I was trying to get like your sound properties. No, that is muted. The TV. Oh, you're right. I can't see. Is the TV muted? No. Yeah, no, it's outputting Windows product. I can fix a lot of your problems. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's Windows. That might be, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so the. You know what? Tell you what. I'll get this again. I've got Windows. Let's switch this to. Yeah. At least here from here. They make great hardware. Yeah, yeah they make good hardware. Their software can use it. what it needs to work. But there's an emphasis on atmosphere in this game. Uh, this is all we have to show right now, but you're, this is the opening sequence. You're on your way to a prison facility uh, inside a train car, and in the distance will eventually appear, you'll, you'll tap on the window, you'll lean over, you look through the window, and you see the prison facility come into view as you're about to go into it. And then there's a kind of a cut scene there, and you go in, you start your life as a prisoner. And uh, that's, that's, I don't want to tell you too much about the story and what takes place, because that's kind of the point. But uh, anyway, this is, this is what we have to show so far. We're kind of excited about it. What's the game called? Uh, Our working title is Headroom. Headroom? Yeah. And who's doing all the modeling? She, she's doing all the art. I'm a primary programmer. I also do a little bit of modeling, but uh, just for prototyping and stuff. But it's. Uh, one interesting thing, though, uh, well, I guess I can just tell you, this, everything you see here as far as the train goes, that's actually a, effectively a skybox. If you're familiar with how a skybox works, you know, you have, you have a flat texture on six different sides. And uh, I can show you, it's actually pretty interesting uh, what it looks like in, ah, uh, well, there's a bunch of weird, here, let me disable these so you can see it. Uh, yeah, this is all hand drawn. You can see the interior. It looks pretty funky when you're looking at it this way. But when you have the camera positioned perfectly in the center of it, it's just you can't tell. So the skybox is rotating around. Oh, well, the camera is rotating within the skybox. Uh, oops, I don't have my you turn off the parallax. Turn off my parallax layers. Yeah, but. Anyhow, so that was kind of a unique challenge. There's going to be a lot of unique challenges, I think, uh, to this kind of project to, to try to stick to the hand-drawn style. It presents a lot of unique uh, challenges. But uh, anyway, is there, are there any questions about? It's awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So, on those parallax layers, were you just like spinning them in opposite directions or something? Or uh, it's, kind of spin they're, they're semi-circles, mm -hmm. and we actually elongated them a little bit to, so that it would look a little bit better. Right. Just perfect circle. Uh, so it's kind of an ellipse shape, but, but the parallax it uses UV scrolling to go oh, okay. around. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what I yeah, so if you look out the right side, they're, they're going in the correct direction. So just three heights, and you just scroll by? Uh, like four, three, yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. Yeah, so there's a lot of optimization we still have to do as far as like overdrawn blending, but uh, we just kind of roughed it in so you can show it here. Yeah. Is this game far into creation? Um, 
about as far as you just saw. So, I mean, okay. it's all storyboarded out. It's all you know, fully designed, the story's complete, all that. But so we're just generating the content at this point. Okay. You have a timeline for projects? Uh, it's it's sort of a side thing, but uh, I don't know. We're open like six months or something like that. Are you guys going to do a Kickstarter? Uh, actually, yes. I'm glad you brought uh, that up. There's two people in here. I need to know this. Okay, I know. I'm glad you brought that up. Actually, we were looking at doing exactly that probably within the next month. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Who do I need to speak to about that? Zachary and James. Well, I, I, I'm reporting on the whole Oklahoma game development okay. scene, so so I, I definitely want to get on a, a you know, get, from, get in from the start, like, tracking you guys' Kickstarter and, and everything, so. Awesome. It'll be awesome. Yeah. What are you going to release it for? The gameplay, like? Uh, the gameplay is... I would say it's the, the closest thing to compare it to would probably be uh, Telltale's Walking Dead type series. It's uh, it's going to be a little bit different. It's mostly you can swipe to look around, but it's also going to be mostly touch based to to go to like the next area. So it'll be highlighted things on the screen. You'll tap. It'll take you to that area. There will be a couple of mini games where you'll. Uh, it's sort of like um, in Fable Two. When you like chop wood and stuff like that, some some kind of timing based mini games, things like that. So that's a, but it's it's mostly story driven. So the gameplay it's it's not not a heavy focus on said, gameplay mechanics. Right? You said swipe and touch based. So this is going to be a touch. Screen. Oh yes, uh, yeah, that was your question. You did answer my question. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, um, mobile, you know, tablet, uh, as well as oh, yeah, as well as we're we're hoping to do like a Steam green light. Uh, so it'll also be a PC. Oh. Okay. But since it's Unity, it's extremely easy to uh, to port to multiple platforms. And uh, might even do I might even do a Microsoft port as well. Yeah. To to uh, Windows Phone. Let's talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the reasons you're using a Skybox is to keep the resources not expensive, so it'll run uh, those kinds of devices. Actually, I mean that that's a benefit of it. Yeah. But one of the main reasons we did it is because we wanted to go with a hand-drawn art style. Mm -hmm. So to, to do that, you just need to be able to draw it out on the flat plane. And then, so what we actually did, this is what was interesting, we, we, I made a model, an actual 3D model of the interior of the train, and then I rendered out uh, a 90 degree field of view, forward, left, right, of the interior of the train as separate images. She stitched them together in Photoshop and it, it looks really weird because you have these, like everything looks normal in one frame, but then you stitch it to this other one, and all of a sudden it's looking 90 degrees to the side. And so we use that as a guide, and so she just kind of sketched over that and used that as, as the basis for, for filling in the... Like drawing a panorama from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Makes, makes me imagine that Escher drawing with the sphere, you know, where he's yeah. the sphere. <laughs> if, yeah. if you look at the actual flat <laughs> Photoshop file she's working on, it looks really weird. Uh, it's, it's trippy, but uh, but once you have those you know guides in there, it's you know it works. And we've got a pretty good one. Is that a pug face on your shirt? Yes. It is. <laughs> 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 Favorite shirt. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thanks for your time.